Hey guys, uh, okay, so let me just do a little bit more of, of, uh, of the, uh, Archon quest. Anyways, let's continue this bit. Just a minute, let me just close. There, that should do it, I think. Okay, so let's go to that hospital where the cries were heard. But first, let me guide this silly as well. Is this is this where all the uh, the village keepers stay? Oh 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 oh. There is no escape. Witness the power of Kuwa. Rain outlines your fate. Take my leave. Oh, is this the place? It's in terrible shape. And there's sand everywhere. Empty and forgotten. An ideal place to hide people. Oh, is that is that the reason why they're That's close enough. Is that the reason why there are uh, enemies we here? It. Maybe it'll spring back to life. Oh no. Where's the other one? Wait, where, where? I don't, I don't see the, oh. even expecting uh super strong bandits or monsters taller than buildings dropping out of the sky or you know something like that hmm. oh wait what's that there's there's something moving over here he looks super serious we gotta stay on our a-game too <laughs> i'll hate him it's always hmm. serious i think this is the one Oh, 
Oh, he was the one who opened it. <laughs> I thought I had to take, uh... To take, uh, Nahida or any of the dental characters out. Let's go in and take a look. I don't think so because there are bandits and monsters in here. How could it be Patience. possible? Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Oh, okay. <laughs> there are heal <laughs> there are explosions over Until here. Until then. He's going to be reading his book I'm again. Taking a break. Oh. I thought <gasps> it was like Oh, it he did. Down. Somehow, he and I think I'll hate them and Shincho will... Feral will get along fairly. Okay, sure. Hmm. Huh? Uh, um, the natural position. Which is the positional propensity of an entity <laughs> in natural motion in contrast with an object in forced motion? Huh? When free from external influences, every entity displays the tendency to follow its natural trajectory? I, I guess not. I mean, Shicho is more of a novel novel reader. Uh, and I'll hate them as more on the philosophy, philosophy so, book. um, you got that? <laughs> no, she didn't. Oh, Paimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm surprised he even asked. How is he so relaxed? Look at him. You know, it wouldn't kill you to read a book once in a while either. Maybe it's time to spread your wings and become learned. You know, it wouldn't kill you to read a book once in a while either. Paimon's your Tibet travel guide. Paimon knows plenty of useful stuff already. <laughs> and anyway, it's not Paimon's fault that the books people read in Sumeru are so complicated. Okay, okay. Paimon's the best. Huh? Well, this is suddenly transitioned so quickly. Getting so sleepy. Wait, I'm hearing something. Huh? What was that sound? There it is. It's coming from that direction. But why is it only at night? It sounds so creepy too. <laughs> now it's me. Is the sound now coming from here? Huh? Paimon's not seeing anything. It's probably underground. Right over there, under that, probably. Hmm? <laughs> it's from below. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. Can't you just push it? Something is off about the interior here. Or lift it, lift it up. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. Wow, it's like they tucked another hospital into this one. What's with the glowing mushrooms? Oh, it looks like there are other mechanisms around here. Let's keep exploring. Okay. I just used. Oh, I'm seeing it. I just... It wasn't so laggy before, but when I started recording, it... it just became that. Let's go get 
gather some samples. <laughs> gather some samples. Oh no. Almost. Oh wait. Oh wait, I'm seeing it over there. So this is the reason why. Change, change. What is the situation? In case of emergency, contact the physician on duty immediately. Monday, Ibrahim. Tuesday, redacted. Wednesday, Omodi. The remaining sections are blank. Patient Abbas, male, 23 years old, mole on the left side of, the, of forehead and left handed while his condition remains very serious. Survival will be difficult without professional medical care. The patient's survivability, once found, immediately informed. Don't give up. Stay positive. All beings are under the watchful eye of the device, so don't ever give up. The rest of the document has been rendered unreadable by weathering. That's... well, that's weird. Keep a balanced diet. Rest regularly and maintain a good mood. Monday, mean tea, bean soup. Ah, uh, chin, lunch, curry, shrimp, honey, puri, dinner. Tuesday, salad, biryani, fish with cream sauce, potato, boat. Wednesday set. Shakshuka. Bean cake. Lunch. The remaining sections are blank. Old beast. There seems to be a darkened remains of stem inside of it, so it was probably used to hold flowers. The words for Alvin are at the bottom of the bottle. It seems to have been... A gift to someone named Alvin. Yep. Look, there's someone over there. We need to be careful. Good idea. Let's approach him slowly without alarming him. Huh. 
paranoid. You're... He can't speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. It's probably one of the village keepers. No, it's probably a new, uh, recently the that's that came in here because if. He was one of the village keeper. Wouldn't he be in the same attire as they do? Also, why is he the only one here? Didn't expect to see him here. Know him, Ohio? You know him? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the academia. He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? No. And that's the problem. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. So how did he become like that? Leaving that question aside for the moment, him being here alone means that we might be too late. Oh, you... Alitham thinks that he's one of the people who moved the, the village keepers? Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. What's that? There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Loaded? With... people? That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry, as if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. The symptoms are identical. Looks like we found living proof. Living proof of what? Huh? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Oh, when the when the leader when the leader suddenly went lost his mind because he tried to read the uh, the the capsule that contained uh, divine knowledge. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? The Aramid guy who went mad. Oh, now that you mention it, they're acting the same way. Correct. The academia is behind all of this. So I think what the academia is doing is they're trying to find a person who could read the divine knowledge that's on the capsule. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the academia spread a false rumor of King Deshret's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the academia. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto King Deshret's followers. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since King Deshret's death all those years ago. Beneath the surface, feelings of desperation are widespread. Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises. Even if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of King Deshret and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. 
It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? They probably want to use the scholars for something. The mad scholars for something. Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. Hmm? First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. I An exile see. is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Yeah, because once they become missing people... Resource? For what exactly? Well, once they become missing people, it's either... Since they were exile, no one would bother to look for them. Right? One or possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. Extracted? You mean canned knowledge comes from people's brains? With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Wow, that's... That's so gruesome. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. So, the human brain... No, nah, Paimon doesn't want to think about this! How do you learn of this technology? I'm the Academia Scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. Oh, uh, of course he'd be familiar with them. Anyway, judging by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind, but something went wrong in the process. Or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. What? So are you telling me that if they extracted the knowledge using the capsule of knowledge, people will go mad because they took the knowledge from him? Is that it? Wow, a capsule knowledge is so dangerous, then... Then, wait a minute, what about that divine knowledge in that particular red, red capsule? Didn't they got that knowledge from Ermin's soul? Or... Or probably a higher being, you know, one of the Sumeru gods? No way. Uh, Paimon's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? No, that can't be right. Most of the mass scholars had made contact with the divine consciousness in the forest. That's what the academia is after. It's also safe to assume that this knowledge has something to do with the Fatui, the doctor, and also the balladeer. They're using divine knowledge capsules to turn the Baladir into a god. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. The Academia needs people who have been exposed to the divine consciousness. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge, but what is their ultimate goal? Are, are we also going to tell Alfie I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. Uh, we, we have an idea. You mean you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? It's, well, Paimon, I think I'll hate him is, is much more, uh, a bit more rational. He knows the forbidden stuff will just make him crazy. All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge. 
but I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Extracting Zealot. information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its doors. Sounds like you're wow. really against all this. Of course. The academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Now, uh, he's almost... He almost has the same, uh... Uh... What do you call this? Justice, uh... Same beliefs with... With Sino. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs to be corrected, just like fixing a typo in a book. Wait, didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? I don't think so. I think it's his Alhidam's purpose more is because the academia tried to use him for their nefarious, you know, tried to make him also a victim. Not to be callous, but no. My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. I think he's more curious about... about what the academia is up to. There is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Um... probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. Your motives are more specific and personal. You can say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. The Divine Knowledge Capsule is something I want to investigate in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Though he rejects the notion of greater moral responsibility, he justifies his actions because they are true to his personal motivations. Someone like him might actually make for a better ally. i has been wanting to say this for a while. There are a lot of bad guys in the academia, but you're not one of them. You're their weirdo. <laughs> Will that be his nickname, Paimon? <laughs> their weirdo. You're probably right. Though I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? True. Wow, that's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. There's nothing more to it than that. <sighs> uh, so what do we do with him? He won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. Let's, yeah, let's take him back to the village. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru village. What's up with this glowing mushrooms? It looks so creepy. If there were crooked carvings of Arbas, Abbas, and sugar jar on them, it would be difficult to imagine that this dirty clay jar was ever used to store sugar. There is a name inscribed in this bowl, Avin. Wait, I think... Oh yeah, it's one in one of the posters. There is a name inscribed in this bowl, Hakim. Oh... These are all patients. And, well, we got the names of some of the doctors. Go! Although, I, I probably have forgotten them. Uh, I still don't have that.
You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. What's the situation? Hmm? Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. You tell everyone what your son did at the hospital and share your current theory. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elizar Hospital served as the academia site for extracting divine cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much! Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village, since divine cant knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yet... They fled once we were headed to the village, almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Hmm. Yeah, why is that? Because of the doctor, we probably? We in our midst. Oh. Or it's probably... the Aramites, you know? There could be one among the Aramites, because, you know, there are... Eavesdroppers One of around. us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Huh? Mm -hmm. Are our friendships that shallow? <sighs> Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Care to share your thoughts? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Oh. Oh, because he stands out Wait, too much? What? Choose your next words very carefully. It is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is... Sino's the mole. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one I'll hate them, since you were always acting alone. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. Like, is there something on him that lets the academia what know? What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamatra? <laughs> As a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the Academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? They probably have them If trailed. you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. The Academia is monitoring me? It's not that simple. The Academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Every so often comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing a thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. <laughs> the Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your movements using the data entered. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. What, like some kind of divination or fortune telling? It predicted my every move. The Academia has been watching you longer than you think. However, the fact that you resigned is proof that their suspicions were well founded. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the Academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Sino, don't take it to heart. 
This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. <sighs> they escaped because of me. Don't blame yourself. It's not like any of us would have known. Exactly. I have an idea. If they predicted my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Whoa, you bounced back fast. There is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! Paimon gets it now! If the Academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be... One step behind him. Yep, that's right! They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're getting smarter, Paimon. Mm -hmm. I must go. There's also something I want to investigate. Let's go, guys! After him! Please, wait! I want to go, too! No, Isaac, it's too dangerous. Mm. You want to go, too? If so, you have to promise you'll stay safe. What, Candice? I want to find Grandpa. I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. Everyone, I leave him in your hands. All right. I can't believe you, Yay, Candace. Let's go! Remember to pack some food with you. No, Paimon. Oh, no, you shouldn't take him. Paimon feels like we're missing someone, though. Hmm. It's Daya, of course. Didn't you just notice she left? I'll be awaiting your good news. Follow Sainu. Uh, please, stay safe, everyone. Wait, what? Didn't I just... Didn't I just left? Wait, what's going on? Oh, uh, it's, it's not that hard. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't fall to so, die. Where do we go from here? I know, do you remember the route you took? Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. I know the desert like the back of my hand. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. Oh, wait. One time, wait. Grandpa almost got lost in the desert. But I was the one who brought him back. 
<laughs> I'm over here though. Why is this tree have those butterflies? Does that thing have ley lines? Some connection to the ley lines? Because I know those things follow. Up There's here only here. to a ley line. To uh, a source of ley line that's stronger. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. Ugh. Paimon thought running around everywhere was already enough work. Now isn't the time for complaining, Paimon. Okay, okay. So we have to dig it out? Whatever it's down there, it looks like it's buried really deep. These are likely fragments of an academia-developed device, something akin to a headset. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Is that how they extract the knowledge? Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Oh, I have to go. You dig up another device nearby. Is this what we're searching for? It looks kind of scary. This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. How did it end up buried in the sand? That can't have been part of the plan. They must have been attacked along the way. Wait, what? Grandpa, I hope you're okay. Don't worry, your grandpa's gonna be fine. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. We should be able to catch up. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand... It's probably during the time, you know, when Candace went out from this, uh... Went out because of the storm and the monsters were going at Aru Village. Oh, no. Really, now? Well, I guess... Well, I guess that's it for today's video. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.